Be the very little town of Beers. I think that's how it's pronounced. Beers. And we're going to try and take a shortcut. Shortcut? You don't know where we're going. Oh, hello. Thank you. We're going to try and take a uh, country tour to Dedham. I haven't brought battery backups for the cameras, so I'm not sure how much of dead and we'll see because <laughs> you can see there there's a little uh, tom tom mount with no tom tom stuck it on there this morning and there was no battery power so of course i could have put the tom tom on a battery pack but i've already got two cameras Two microphones. It's only a short trip. Only really a test of what I think is going to be my well, pretty much final setup bar some tweaking. Which is on drums. No, on the helmet microphone that you are listening to me on. That is my Tascam TR07X stuffed in my top pocket and a wired Lavalier mic tucked into the chin strap, chin bar of my Bell Bruiser helmet. And you might have seen on another video, maybe I'll show you later. The Bell Bruiser is very handy for this because. You can take that chin strap off if you want to fiddle with the mic or put the camera on and off, that sort of thing. You don't have to take the whole helmet off. So that's quite handy. And you are looking through, possibly at the moment, my GoPro 10, also attached to my Bell Bruiser detachable chin bar via. Um, a mount that straps onto it so it's not stuck on with the GoPro stuff it's a mount I bought from Amazon I'll try and remember to put the link in the description below in the comments or, or whatever description um, works very well the only side effect of that strap mount arrangement is I can't quite close the visor onto the chin bar tiny little gap. That's not bad. The speeds I go anyway. It's fine. And um, but the one <laughs> the one side effect I'm noticing is every time I start moving, especially when it's chill like today, makes me feel like my nose is wet. <laughs> Guess there's a breeze coming through the tiny little crack, going straight over the tip of my nose. It makes me feel like I've got a drip on the end of my nose. Anyway, just side the point. Engine noise is coming to you courtesy of my Zoom H2N strapped to the pillion seat. Seems to work pretty well. It's got a dead cat fuzzy cap on it to stop the wind noise. 
and for some reason even at reasonable speeds the position and the dead cat seem to keep most of the wind noise away and some wind noise is fine because that's what you hear when you're riding you know in fact the wind noise is a lot less than I hear <laughs> through this helmet I'll tell you that anyway so that's how you're getting engine exhaust chain transmission etc it seems to pick up that stuff quite nicely we'll get that pop 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 as I slow down in second love that love the sound of this bike I have to say I mean it could be louder <laughs> but it's not supposed to be a Harley I really have no idea where I am well I kind of do and finally Clutch cam, arse cam, haven't decided. I suppose clutch cam. I tend to use it for my gear changes. No, that's not my clutch, is it? That's my gear. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't know what to call it. I'm gonna call it arse cam. Here's my GoPro Max. I have it attached to a selfie stick reasonably robust selfie stick which is both strapped and uh, tied, no, strapped and wedged in between my bucket seat and the pillion seat seems to keep it nice and sturdy and stable it's angled down so that the selfie stick is resting also on the rear mudguard and of course I stuck a bit of foam in there to stop it from damaging the thing Oops, a little bit speedy through here, David. Um, so yeah. We'll be uh, showing here because the red light shows. So yeah, I kind of know where I am today. Some lovely Essex, possibly straying into Sussex, or wherever I am. I'm never very good with my county geography. Um, on the way to Dedham Vale, Dedham itself. Trying out the uh, logging setup. If the clouds look lovely and fluffy and the sky looks beautiful and blue, just tip it up there. Look where you're going, David. Look where you're going. Oh, oh. Oh, lemon drain covers have sunk so badly these days. Uh, Nayland or Newton? Nayland or Newton? I'm going to go towards Nayland. I think I might have come too far. It's all good. It's all good. Um, so yes, if the clouds look lovely and fluffy and the sky beautiful and blue, it's because I have a circular polarizing lens on the GoPro 10. It's part of my test today. Max hasn't moved, doesn't seem to have. I don't think it can. I really don't think it can. So yeah. The thing I'm testing today is I tried this um, the Valier mic the other day and I had the recording level too high and it did click. I've turned it right down today. As I was setting up, I literally had to shout into it to get it to clip, but it's hard to tell once you're in a helmet, your voice is amplified or reverbed or whatever. It's contained and condensed. So, it may be quite a lot louder. Who knows? Gentlemen, I'm in a 
a nutter? Trying to get in that parking space? Have you given up? Seem to have given up. So. So. Now, I seem to be pointing back the other direction now, so the Lord knows where I'm going to end up. Just to get a general gist. of gravel. Beautiful. That'd be left over from when they did a one of those crappy spit and grit resurfacings. Huge piles of gravel to kill motorcyclists. Left behind. Thing of beauty. which direction I'm supposed to be taking, so... That says... Levenham, very nice. Grutton. Ipswich, Hadley, The Spinney. I'm not seeing Dedham. Hmm. White Hart. Looks very nice. I'm pretty sure that if I head in this direction, That was Boxford. That's very kind of you, sir. Always like it when they give me room. This is a bike that kind of asks for room, though, I have to say. It doesn't need too much more than your average, but I think the beach bars, which leave me with a sort of a hands-out position, chest forward like a gorilla. Thank you, sir. Um, I guess it looks kind of wide-ish. It's got presence. And then there's that... Oh, I was going to say there's the daylight headlight, but I don't think I've got it switched on. There it is. Ha! Now I'm demanding even more attention. Oh, does that look like rain over there? There's a wet bit! No, I don't want to get my baby wet. Better not come back this way. No! Wetness! Right, where are we going? Groton, Boxford. Never heard of Kersey, but we're going there. Because I kind of think I'm still going in the right direction. I neither know Edwardstone nor Castle Heath. really in the middle of it now. I mean that's possibly a good sign because I'm not that familiar with the dead and bear. So yeah. If we're places I don't recognise then that's probably good. Though I have been to Dedham quite a few times. Usually, I would just uh, shoot down the main road. Not so much of the fun cross-country.
show. That's because he's that way. Now I'm going to go around here. Hadley. 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 That, now that rings a bell. <laughs> Mr. Random. We all stopping. Yeah, there's not much room on this road for them. I mean, I'm okay. Knees give me a bit of jip. Look at this view, though. Harvested fields. Little village. Very nice. It'd be better if there wasn't a dirty great lorry stuck in front of me, but hey, man. UHGVs, you're doing a great job. I might just let him get away from me a bit. It'll make for better viewing. He's not getting away from me a bit, is he? Go away, Laurie. <laughs> We're going any slower, we're going backwards. Suddenly the scene is nicer. Ah, oh, Laurie's back again. Right, here's a road. Kersey, Ipswich, Lavenham, Stowmarket, Hadley. Still no. Ugh. Dedham. Get a lavender. That's a nice place. <laughs> Dead of another day when I've actually got a tom tom working to find my way cross country. I would have thought Dedham would have been signposted. Maybe the locals have paid off. They've paid off highways to not let anyone know where they are. scary.
like a vineyard. Still green at this time of year. production is. So, not sure which bit of the Avenue we're in. As the nun said to the bishop, I've never come this way before. Leave. She was riding down a cobbled street with him at the time, on a tandem. But that's another story. Yeah, you don't get much older than the houses here. Look at these. Beautiful. Anyone who's not been to Lavenham, you are missing a treat. It is very touristy. I'm going to go in and then come back out and head to Sudbury just to show you the sights. Well, since we made it. With the camera still working. Parking spaces are a premium. As you can imagine. <laughs> Houses are leaning further and further and further over. Now, I did stay here once, and I haven't seen the place I stayed at. So, I assume that was uh, in the other direction. I'm going to go back through to give you another look. Lather them in the other directions with the sun in my eyes. Good test for the camera. Beautiful fluffy clouds in the distance. <laughs> of course, they're in the distance. They're a mile up. But you know what I mean in the background. Tiny little back lanes are lovely. There's Greyhound in Lavenham. Which you haven't tried. Oh yeah, there's the swan. Good stay in the swan. Very nice, quite posh inside. Oldie worldy posh, if you know what I mean. But nice. And there is, I didn't see a street presence for it, but there is a uh, spa. If you're into getting your flesh pounded next to this one which is awesome yeah it's Lavenham cock horse cock in cock horse one of the cock around here it's a dead center of town quite a pretty uh, pretty, it's impressive, it's uh, an edifice there, isn't it? Right, there's a sign side all behind us, Sudbury, we've got a Sudbury. Bridge Street, Sudbury, we'll get a Sudbury. Look at this view, I'm going to get past this guy so you can see it properly. Yeah. So we'll take 
take a ride to Sudbury and then take the pretty way home from there. Which I do pretty much know. Famous last words. 